And joining us now is Major Garrett of the National Journal. He's in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the Democratic National Convention will get underway on Tuesday. Major, good morning. Good morning, Chip. Very good to be with you. It's great to have you. Let me ask you, at the convention next week in Charlotte, what do you think will be the number one issue? The number one issue will be why President Obama, from his perspective and those here, believe he deserves re-election. What Democrats will say is the president inherited a very tough economic situation, the toughest since the Great Depression. Chips, that's not a new story. But what Democrats will do here is say, yes, you've heard that before, but here are some Americans who have benefited in practical and real, and they hope memorable ways from the president's policies. People who will testify that their taxes were cut in the middle class area. Folks who were in college who got lower college loan rates benefited from that. People who have had health care who didn't have it before. What they're going to try to do here is say, yes, things are bad, they can get better, but in between, the president took steps to make things that were bad a little bit less bad and help people get along, and that'll be one of the enduring themes Democrats hope after this convention. Major, how does the president uh, focus on jobs and all of this? 8.3 percent unemployment presently, 42 straight months of unemployment above 8 percent. The long-term unemployed, that 5.2 million figure, 40.7 percent of the workforce has been now unemployed, or rather the unemployed workforce has been unemployed for more than six months. How does the president address that? It is by far the most difficult challenge the president faces. And those statistics speak for themselves. And they're not just were, they're not just numbers, they're real people in real lives. And Republicans know that that is the core reason people are dissatisfied and thinking about an alternative to President Obama. What he can only do is say, not things are great, and not even very credibly say they could be worse, because people can't really understand what that means in their actual lives. What the president has to say is, we are getting better, I know the way forward, and if you take a path that the Republicans have put forward, we're going to reverse track and go back to the situation as bad as it was or possibly worse. The president can really only make a negative case against his opponent. It's very difficult for him to make an affirmative case for himself on the number one issue, the economy, which is the turtle the president has to confront, not just here in Charlotte, but from now until Election Day. Uh, Major, yesterday uh, Mitt Romney toured areas damaged by Hurricane Isaac. Do you think he successfully sold himself at the convention? Well, well that's going to be for voters to decide, Chip. I would say the speech that he gave was the first time Americans tuning into this campaign to see a different side of Mitt Romney actually saw a slightly different side, one that was a bit warmer and also more reflective about the challenges in his life and how he's helped he and his wife and his five children confront them. That on balance was very helpful for Governor Romney, but I, told, I talked to so many delegates on the floor, Chip, at the convention who said, look, Mitt Romney is not going to win or lose this election based on the speeches he gives or the quality thereof. That's just not the way people are going to decide what to do in this election. He's going to win it on policy, he's going to win it on direction, and proving that he or at least selling himself as a more capable manager than the incumbent. And that debate is yet to come.